With this video, we will be doing all of Anthony Emotional Speak about the future of America. And if you want to help this channel and the content that we create, and please help support our merchandise. The link is in the description. And if you didn't hit that like button, make sure you hit the like button. We're trying to get the channel to grow. And the only way we're going to do this is if you like, share, and comment on the content. So without further ado, let's get into all of Anthony. Let's go. Chi Chi, get the Yale. Get the Yale. Can primary presidential debate took place. And on that night, the debate kicked off with mm. a question about Oliver Anthony's number one hit song, wow. Richmond, North of Richmond. Wow. And why that song was striking such a nerve within the country right now. And now just two days following that question and the Republican primary presidential debate, Oliver Anthony has... That's dope. You just came out and your name is ready. And ringing bells. <laughs> like that, that it's in their first debate. Like, yeah, like ringing bells that ring the country bells. Facts. Now responded as well as provided an Thank emotional you. statement, yeah. fighting back tears regarding his direction and inspiration <sighs> behind his music Spot. and the future of this nation. First, here is Oliver Anthony's response to the use of Richmond north of Richmond in the debate. Here it is. Well, you know, like it was funny seeing my song in the. It was fun. It was funny seeing it at the presidential debate because it's like I wrote that song about those people. You know? <laughs> so for them to have to sit there and listen to that, uh, that cracks me up. <laughs> Right. Uh, but it was funny kind of seeing the response to it. Like, that song has nothing to do with Joe Biden, you know? <laughs> it's a lot bigger than Joe Biden. Oh, um, man. That's crazy. That song is written about the people on the on that stage. And a lot more, too. Not just them, but, but definitely them. <laughs> definitely them. It's cool seeing some of my other music come out, because people are... I guess starting to appreciate and understand what it is I'm really trying to say. It's hard to get a message out about about your political ideology or your belief about the world in three minutes and some change. Now, Anthony did not stop there. As mentioned before, Oliver Anthony continued to address his frustration with how Richmond, north of Richmond, has been what he described as weaponized and being used on both sides of the political party line. Anthony expressed that he believes Richmond north of Richmond terrifies the country leaders as it has brought such unity among all different walks of life in this country and outside of it throughout the world. And doing just that is... Uh, what I can say, it has been bringing a lot of unity. Um, that's what we've been seeing is unity, unity, and really people really thinking about that and embracing um, the whole idea of just unity. Yeah, because it's a relatable conversation right. um, that crosses all boundaries. So, Facts. you know, everybody can relate to the need for uh, monetary compensation and some yeah. way to live. Right. You know what I'm saying? So, just trying to live. That's and it. it's rough out here for everybody. Everybody. Facts country leaders as it has brought such unity among all different walks of life in this country and outside of it throughout the world and doing just that is his mission with his music right now and of course into the future and to not be put in a political bucket but mm. to continue to bring everyone together but i hate i do hate to see that song being weaponized like i see i see the right trying to characterize me as one of their own and i see the left trying to um, trying to discredit me I guess in retaliation I'm almost seeing like a tug of war game you feel what I'm saying like yeah. who's gonna use this coin to position themselves better or take away from you feel what I'm saying it feels like, like they both feel like they would be in better position if they had him on either side but facts. he's not dealing with either side yeah so they're like if you're not dealing with either side then we must make you look like a buffoon <laughs> That's a that's a good way to put it. I mean, you broke it down lovely. I couldn't have said Plain it no simple. better. Player. <laughs> me as one yeah. And I see the left <laughs> trying to um, trying to discredit me. I guess in retaliation. Uh, that shit's got to stop. Facts. If you watch the response videos on YouTube to the song, it's not conservative people responding to the song. Right. It's not even necessarily Americans responding to the song. Right. Um, 
I don't know that I've seen anything get such positive response from such a diverse group of people. Right. And I think that terrifies the people that I sing about in that song. And they've done everything they can the last two weeks to make me look like a fool, to spin my words, to try to stick me in a political bucket. And they can keep trying, <laughs> but I'm just gonna keep on writing. And as we come to a close as here, Oliver Anthony concluded mm -hmm. his message by fighting back tears as he questioned where this country will be in the future and pointing out the tragedies and hardships that many Americans face each and every- Like the um, good thing that he did, did do is he started the conversation. Like the conversation needed to be had and somebody had to get it um, started. So it was good that he kicked it off. Yeah, cause it takes, you know, some things you just gotta be straight up fearless about. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Facts. Or the conversation will never be had. Right. And so like kudos to him for, you know, open that door. For the conversation to be had. Yeah. Right. Every day. Here it is. I don't know what this country is going to look like in 10 or 20 years if things don't change. I don't know what this world's going to look like. And, like, something has to be done about it, you know? There's been too many people die. There's been too many people sacrifice everything they've had. People. And you can tell he's not capping. Like, that's his real, raw. Um, emotions. emotions. He's not trying to put on uh, for some money or put on a show for entertainment. He that's how he really feel, and he's getting that out, and it's choking him up. Because mm -hmm. um, a lot of us understand where he's coming from. Because and I also see it like you know, this has got to be something that everybody sees. I'm not missing anything. Right. And if everybody can see this, and I know everybody feels the same way, again, why is no one saying anything? Right. Or doing anything right. because as soon as he opened his mouth, you see the response. Yeah, so everyone already seen it. And it's like, um, and like everybody said, feels the same. So what's happening? That's what he's asking. Facts. People die before they even before they're even eighteen. You know, just so for us to all sit here and just do the stupid shit it is that we do every day that keeps us all all beat down and divided. Like that's what I want to see stop. And I'm going to do everything I can to influence that at all costs, even if it does, um, even if it does throw my world upside down, it's what it's well worth it. So as we have got to meet Anthony over his rapid rise in the last two weeks, we have seen a man who really is working to represent each and every person that he can and is presenting honesty through his messages and his lyrics. And as he said, there was plenty more of where that came from regarding his release songs that are out now and of course his upcoming songs because remember, three minutes is not enough time for Anthony to say all of not. what he wants to <laughs> say. And just to reiterate before we get out of here, this is not about the left or the right with Anthony. It is about bringing everyone together. Of course, guys, after hearing his new... That remind me of the uh, Tom McDonald song we did with um, Adam and Dax when he was like, it's not about left or right, it's about wrong and right. And exactly. That's what that made me think of. It's about bringing everyone together. Of course, guys, after hearing his new message that he just presented today, we would love to know your thoughts on this down below in the comments. As always, thank you all for tuning in here at CountryCast. That will be it for today's video. It's Trey TV. Let's get it. This is Lamar Wilson here representing Ghetto Action News Network underscore. All lower cases. No spaces. And you can find us on Facebook. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me get right down to this. This is a pretty uh, interesting take on uh, an interview mm -hmm. that was had with uh, Oliver Anthony. Um, these were some excerpts from some other vids. But um, their perspective was to the point. Mm -hmm. But I would encourage anyone to watch the full vid on this. Yeah. But um, it was pretty direct to his perspective of things and pointing out certain things he was saying. And yeah. I thought that was cool. Yeah. Because, um, you know, it was very easy for people to chop things up. Yeah. And, you know, Facts. You know what I mean? But this was close to the truth. Yeah. But I was still encouraged to watch the other one. But I thought this was really dope. 
um, and to point out the, his perspective when it comes to not really playing party lines, but just playing lines of people and not playing, just being real. Right. So I think that's dope. Uh, this was a well worth it watch. What do you think about this one? Uh, I think it was a dope piece, um, the way he put it together. Um, like you said, it wasn't a full interview, but he just took the main biggest points um, that he was talking about. I don't feel like he changed his words up. Um, really, anything that he said really pretty much let him do the talking. It was like self-explanatory. Um, and I like the head that's on this guy. Like I said, from the first time I seen this video on how he's playing chess, um, because he knowing chess is being played against him, the people that um, don't mind his message, um, they're going to try to pull him on his side. And the people that don't want to hear it, like you said, is going to try to make him look at certain type of way um so it's good that he knows what's coming so you could kind of prepare for it and i thought that was dope and i thought it was a dope episode and i can't wait until our next episode and today it's your boy trey tv and i'm out